I'm in a good place. Um, you know, just going to continue to do the things necessary in order to prepare my body for the finals. Coach mentioned that he sits you out at, at portions of practice. What are some of the things that right now that you know they want to keep you away from? Um, trying to keep him away from different portions that we do in practice. David says progress was slow. Is it? Is it been what you thought it would be in terms of recovery? Or are you ahead of schedule, behind schedule? What you thought? Um, it's it's been even. I mean, um, you know, like I said, it's just a day by day thing. Um, you know, just coming in, continuing to get treatment, and, and do what I can to prepare, uh, prepare myself for the finals. Are you not going to get to 100%? Maybe. Um, I'm not too sure. Unless something miraculous happens, I mean, um, you know, just like I said before, I'm gonna keep saying it. Just, it's just a, it's a day by day thing. Um, you know, continue to get treatment and do what it takes. The foot is no longer an issue, correct? Nope. Nope. How would you describe the, the team's move? Bron said restless. How, how would you describe the team? Bron said restless. Describe the team's move heading into the finals. Um, I would, I would, you know, piggyback on that. Um, you know, you're just dreaming about being in that moment. Um, you know, this is what it really all comes down to. You know, two teams left, you know, best teams, uh, you know, playing. And, uh, you know, to think about a year ago, um, you know, you would be in a different place, you know, somewhere on a beach somewhere or, you know, on vacation and, and you're still in the gym, um, you know, working on your on your craft. So, you know, this is what it's all about. It's an exciting moment, an exciting time uh, for professional basketball and, and to be a part of it is no feeling, you know, no feeling that I can really describe or compare it to. For you, I guess the the more days off, I guess that would help you as far as getting healthy. But would you rather would you rather get out there sooner sooner or later on the court? That is. Uh yeah, um, but you know these these days are, are very very important for me. Um, you know, especially going to the finals, I want to feel as uh, you know close to my old self as I could. Um, so you know, they're, they're very important, but. Uh, from the other, from the flip side as well, pre uh, preparing for you know a great team like that, um, you need as many days as you can, and then you know we go out there and compete. Um, you know on June fourth. I think people forget sometimes that Coach Blatt left his family over in Israel to come over here and kind of chase this job. Do you guys have an appreciation for the sacrifices that that he's made as well? Yeah, I mean, but that, that's what draws the team closer together. I mean, it's you know Coach Blatt left his family over there, but um, you know we all have made sacrifices to, to be a part of this team. Um, you know, whether we're leaving our families or our families somewhere else or, you know, people being traded, coming here, you know, it's just, we've all made sacrifices and that's what's brought us together. Um, and, you know, now we're playing for, for a championship. So, you know, at the end of the day, it'll, it'll all even out. It'll all be worth it, so. Has he changed kind of during the course of the year? I mean, he, you know, first year, a lot thrown at him. Have you seen, not that it's not that it's your job to evaluate him, but the growth in him as a coach? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's a great coach to come over anyway, so it was the belief that we all had in him. But, you know, obviously coming into a new team and then, you know, new players and, you know, changing what's best fit for our team and, and the players that we have and the coaches and going in. I mean, we have an unbelievable staff, you know, medically and, and our coaching staff and then the players, we, we kind of take it from there. So it goes hand in hand. There's There, there are championship guys on this team, so... You know the respect is always there, and Coach Blatt has, uh, you know, just stayed even kill, which I appreciate for him. Is just that, you know, when he first came in, he was just an amazing player coach already, and then, you know, being able to listen and be receptive to what the players are saying, and then, you know, going out and making changes, and then if he feels like it's what's best for the team, he's the coach and he's going to make a decision. We all respect that, so it hasn't been anyone stepping on anybody's toes. Obviously, there's been, you know, some disagreements here and there, but I mean, what team doesn't have disagreements? So. Um, for us, it's just about growing daily and us getting better as a, as a group. How much does daily help you in practice, uh, that, those matchups? Oh, it's been, it's been amazing. I mean, that's why you know, me and him are so close and we have that, that type of relationship. Um, you know, it's just when he first came, I, it was almost a fist fight every day in practice, like every single day. And, you know, it wasn't that he was trying to be dirty or intentional or anything like that. It's just the way he is. It's just his nature. Um, you know, it's that Australian blood that he has in him that's just running in <laughs> deep. And, you know, it's just deep rooted. And they, they just are nonstop. They're going to keep coming at you. And, you know, whatever they have, um, they're going to they're gonna throw at you. So it's just truly appreciated that you can have a competitor like that. And then on the flip side, when you're going out and playing with him, you know exactly what you're going to get. So I love him. When did the relationship change from fist fights every day to actually just being like boys? Uh, this year, this year coming in. Um, 
you know, obviously we went through a lot together last year. And, uh, you know, every day in practice we're, you know, intense practice with Coach Brown. And coming this year, you know, us starting preseason and, you know, him playing um, for the World Cup as well. We came in both in unbelievable shape. And then, um, you know, every day in practice just pushing each other. And then we had other point guards come in. And, you know, now he's our backup PG. And he does an unbelievable job competing and, and staying ready all the time. So can you? I know, I know you grew up in New Jersey, but Delhi, Bogut, the Australian impact in the finals. Have you thought about the special quality of that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think they're they're a little bit more deep rooted in Australia than I am, but um, you know we're all Aussie born, and um, you know it's great to see three of them in in the uh, in the finals. Do you understand better than most why Horford and Taj get so upset with Delhi? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I mean, I. I I, for one, I mean, I, what they said, you know, they don't know if he's being dirty. I mean, that right there just goes out the window. I mean, I've played against him every single day. And sorry, guys. Uh, um, I've played against him every single day, and there's never been once where I felt like, you know, he was over the top. You know, I've played against a lot of people. It's just, you know, first time, it's just a test of, like, he's going to test you. Like, it's just as simple as that. And, you know, you just got to be, you have tough skin. And um, I'm not saying that Al Horford or, or DeMar Carroll aren't tough or anything like that, but. Um, in terms of being intentional or doing anything like that, he's just trying to compete.